Hello friends, welcome back to another Sims 4 video. Today we are going to be reacting to the trailer for the next expansion pack. We kind of have an idea of maybe what this expansion pack is going to have. And I'm excited, not because I love apartments or apartment building. I am perfectly fine with the apartments in San Mishuno. I'm even kind of okay with the apartments in Evergreen Harbor. I don't mind that the buildings are uh, not real and editable. I do kind of wish that we had the ability to have like a whole floor available to us and then we could edit that entire apartment building floor and decide just how many apartments we wanted and exactly their shapes and everything. But for what it is, I love city living the way it is. I don't necessarily need to have the ability to build my own apartment buildings per se. I would love to have the ability to have duplexes and row houses and basement apartments like we saw in the leak. That kind of stuff. Especially for smaller worlds like Glimmerbrook and Forgotten Hollow and stuff. That would bring so much more life and you could have so many more things in each world with the ability to add just a couple more families to each lot. That's the aspect of this pack that I am most looking forward to. So with that said, let's get into the trailer. Okay, I've turned desktop sounds off because I don't want a copyright strike. We have 10 seconds left. I'm getting so excited. I can't wait. Let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, I already love the world. <gasps> oh, I love it already. <laughs> nice. Oh, I like that. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh my! Okay! <gasps> oh! Okay. More food! Yummy! I love this style. It's beautiful. Oh. <laughs> oh no way, that's awesome. Okay. Ooh, oh I love these things. <gasps> Another festival market? Yes, please. <laughs> That's an interesting toilet. Ew! Ew! What the? Is that a new kind of death? Oh my god. Yes, it is. <gasps> new games for the kids. A rooftop pool. Love it. Ooh, 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 I love that building! December 7th, yes! Quick treats, grill, street, oh, 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 okay, okay, it's done. Okay, <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> Like usual, these things go by so fast, and it was so much to look at and see and react to. So let's go back to the beginning, uh, if I can find it here. There we go. Okay. 
Now, first of all, loving this world already. Very densely packed houses. Yes, and they look like row houses and townhouses. Yes, thank you. More city area. Oh, I didn't even notice this, but it kind of looks like... Okay, this might be the street market or the night market area. Oh, nice. Okay, the little tents with food stalls and stuff. They've got a little circle area up here i wonder if that's accessible or just something you're gonna see off to the side i love this i love everything about this picture this is gonna bring so much more depth and diversity to the game i wish the for rent wasn't there this is such a cool image very city living type stuff and i'm here for it Oh, this is so cool. New interactions, new um greetings, I assume. That is really cool. I am definitely looking forward to the build by in this. And more lake, river, and pond swimmable areas in this world. Nice. Okay, this could just be neighborhood decoration. It's hard to tell. But I'm thinking this might just be all neighborhood decoration right here. The boat, this little dock area here, probably just neighborhood decoration. <gasps> Hopscotch? I didn't even see that the first time around. The kids can play hopscotch again. Nice. I, forgive me, I am not sure what these things are, but they're gonna definitely be an interesting ad. And here's the apartment. So the way this plays, let me go back. The way this is playing, you definitely get to build your own apartment buildings. And this one looks pretty awesome. So you have a property owner, and then you have tenants, and the mailboxes, and then someone eavesdropping on other people's conversations. I'm guessing they're going to bring the whole noisy neighbors aspect from city living into this as well. I mean, that's kind of what I got from this. Your neighbors can annoy you and be noisy and you can listen in on them and stuff. And then this stuff. This would be cool in almost any build, having this basement-related stuff like water heaters and electrical panels and stuff just adds another amount of realism to anything, really. Is that a rice cooker or a slow cooker? It kind of looks like it could be either, right? Either way. And then all the new foods. Look at that. I can't wait. It's making me hungry. <laughs> oh wait, was it a pressure cooker maybe? Possibly. I love this stuff. It's really nice. I can't wait to start adding it to my builds. So yeah, this part is telling us the whole noise thing will be an issue again. And then apparently the electricity can go out to the whole building and someone has to go to the basement to fix it. Look at this. Okay, this I'm gonna assume is the night market area, and this is absolutely fantastic. I, there's so much to see here. It's just such a beautiful area. I don't love the constant notifications for everything. Like, we have so many things that give us notifications constantly now. It's just really annoying, but I do love having all the festivals and everything in the game. I really, really love those, so I'm excited to add even more. It's just so colorful and beautiful. I just love all of it. Oh, is that fresh seafood? You can buy fresh seafood from this, the uh, night market? And you can also probably buy cooked food as well. Obviously, they're sitting here eating. I see so many new things. It would be so hard to pick it out. But I'm going to say that these new chairs and a new sign. There is that. Is she lighting and sending off her own lantern? That would be a cool thing to add to the game. She did. She sent it off herself. Let's watch that. She did. She blew it up and sent it off herself. You can buy foods. Wait. Pre-cooked foods. 
<gasps> it looks like you can buy little trinkets too. Kind of like flea market style. Oh, that's so exciting and I love these little trinkets. She's spying on everybody. Oh, they're at the night market, so she decided to break into their house while they were at the market. Okay, let's let's look at this. Okay, first of all, new door with a lock on it there. I see lots of new windows, doors, flooring, everything. Oh, there's just so much stuff here to look at. A new lamp. A lot of new furniture in this image. Just so much of it. <laughs> Oh, and I love the blue. Look at that. Is that a dresser with a mirror? That might be a vanity. That's really cool. The image is kind of dark on my screen, though, so it's hard to see. Look at the little tiger in the background. That's so cute. <laughs> and new curtains. Okay, this is a better overview of the bedroom. So a vanity type thing, maybe a dresser with a mirror. Not sure that might be a doorway that leads to a bathroom or something. We've got lots of cool new objects, a bed, a rug, probably more paintings. I wouldn't see why not. <laughs> oh yeah, this part. I forgot about this part. Okay, that's an interesting toilet. Being from America, I end not traveling very much or really anywhere outside of the U.S. I don't think I've ever seen a toilet quite like this. It's different and it's interesting and I wonder how exactly you use it. But also, check out the whole moldy fungus situation in this bathroom. And apparently if you let it go, you can die from it? That's... okay, that's cool, but also kind of gross. <laughs> A rooftop pool area for your apartment building. That must have been the commons area thing that the leak was talking about. I see these have to be new chairs, right? I don't recognize them. And you can't see because of the clock over it, but... Okay, lots of new furniture here. I'm loving all of it. Is that a new pool floaty? That's so cute. New hanging. Uh, are these lanterns? I forget what these are called. I'm so sorry. New lights, more new doors. The doors all have locks and stuff on them. Wait, did she just extort him for money or something? Look, watch. Okay. She's whispering to him and then the dollar sign comes up and he's like, I... <laughs> okay, I'll give you the money. <laughs> if I must. Ooh, a new drink tray. I love those things. And then the ghost of the guy who died of the fungus. <laughs> That's interesting. Ew, he breathed on her. And another kid's game, marbles. Glad to see that. They're actually including kids more often now, which is nice. Ooh, what is that? Is that a new solar panel? That's kind of cool. I'm sorry, I'm just so excited about all of this. You can build this whole building. Balconies, uh, air conditioners in the windows. That's kind of cool. I mean, obviously we can already build balconies. I just mean you can build balconies as part of your apartments. <laughs> This is such a cool apartment building. And then this one, ooh. These went by so fast the first time, but this is, oh wait, what is that? Is that neighborhood? Look down in the bottom corner beneath my face. It looks like it could be just decoration too. I mean, we've had a lot of things that look like it could be usable in the game and then it turns out not to be so it could just be decoration like other trailers and um cars and stuff in the game but does that not look like potentially a vehicle of some kind that could be usable i mean it looks a big enough and proportioned enough to be usable right and it kind of you know this looks to me and it could be a, a community lot i could be wrong this could be a community lot my first instinct was this was an apartment but now that i'm looking closer it well no there's a mailbox here but you can also have the market stalls on your apartment lots 
I wonder how that's gonna work. This one is so cute. I think this one is probably my favorite out of all of them. It's just really, really cute. This is so pretty. I love everything about this image right here. That is such a beautiful area. I can't wait to play with my sims in this area. It's so pretty. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. I can't wait. I really, really can't wait. I am so excited. Let's go see what the website says about it now. Okay, I moved my face to the other side so you could actually see it. Become a successful property owner with the Sims 4 4 Rent Expansion Pack. It's time to open your door to new rental opportunities in the picturesque world of Tom... Ta Tomarang? I am so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce that. Experience the neighborhood as a property owner or tenant. Fix utilities, deal with unruly neighbors, create a community, and even manage multiple residential rentals. In the Sims 4.4 Rent Expansion Pack, players will have the opportunity to build and create a variety of dwellings, including townhomes, duplexes, apartments, and more. That's what I want so bad. Players will discover that close living quarters make for some of the most harmonious relationships that will either bring the community together or drive it apart. Now answer the door and get ready to discover the drama at your doorstep. <gasps> Look at that picture. I love that. So many things. So much stuff. Welcome to Tomarang. Soul, soul neighbor. Welcome to the bustling city of Tomarang, a scenic world nestled in a lush tropical landscape and vibrant city skyline in a world alive with possibilities. Tomarang breathes new life into the many stories that can be told in multi-family dwellings inspired by a unique blend of traditional and modernity. Sims can immerse themselves in this Southeast Asian inspired world and discover various new exciting community activities to reflect elements of Southeast Asian culture. The Sims team proudly collaborated with Jason Chu, an Asian American rapper, social justice advocate, and cultural expert with family roots in Southeast Asia to consult on the four rent expansion pack to deliver more choices with how players explore and express their individuality. I'm too excited. I can't enunciate very well. I'm sorry. When your sim needs a break from the hustle and bustle of a big city, they can relax in the green haven of the botanical gardens, visit an animal sanctuary, or leave incense or fruit offerings at the spirit house. While child sims can play hopscotch and marbles in the park. As sims move into these new residential rentals, it's inevitable that they will get tangled up in each other's lives. From basement suites to duplexes, sims can discover drama right at their doorsteps as they will have ample opportunity to discover each other's secrets by eavesdropping Dropping, snooping, or even breaking and entering. That is so amazing. Look at that picture. That is so pretty. With so much to chat about, Sims can head on over to the city's iconic night market for an evening stroll. After exploring a world aglow with lanterns, buzzing with vendors, tantalizing foods, and unique items, Sims can be inspired to eat like locals at home where they can cook dishes including... Oh no... I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm so sorry. Uh, and then tofu pad thai, uh, Burmese samosa soup. I'm so terrible at pronouncing things. I am so sorry. This is really, really embarrassing. You have no idea. After their meal, Sims can enjoy a hollow hollow and a Thai iced milk tea. I can't wait. Look at that. Okay. Okay, they're showing us where each apartment is located. So the blue is this apartment and the purple is the apartment next to it. I wonder, there's no doorway. There's no doorway connecting this 
to this bedroom here. I don't see a doorway there. Do you see a doorway? I'm so confused. There's no doorway connecting the living room, kitchen, dining area with the bedroom. So does that mean you can connect rooms that are not connected by doors? That's... The same thing happened up here too though, in the blue one. There's no doorway connecting the bedroom to the living room kitchen area. Huh. So yeah, I wonder if that's showing that you can assign rooms to apartments even if they're not connected. Or if that was just a mistake of building huh that's interesting it's a weird it's a weird screenshot and then there's that vehicle again and it looks proportional for the sims to be able to get in and, and use it but on this lot it kind of looks like it's parked at the back of the lot so possibly neighborhood decoration. A new type of lot in town. We know apartments and multi-residential rentals have been highly requ requested by players and we wanted to ensure that this feature offered enriched and immersive gameplay that expands on the multitude of storytelling opportunities. The Sims 4 for Rent expansion pack introduces a new dimension to housing options, enhancing the overall depth and complexity of Sims relationships, personalities, and experiences. For the first time ever in The Sims 4, Simmers can build a fully customizable multi-unit dwelling where multiple Sims families can live on the same lot. This is possible in any livable The Sims 4 world. Does that count for outdoor retreat and jungle adventures? That's a question I'm going to need to ask. In Tomering, these gorgeous dwellings feature versatile wood window shades, homes on stilts near scenic beaches, as well as historic bridges. For interiors, there are traditional wood carvings and rattan furniture available alongside traditional Southeast Asian-inspired rugs, chairs, tiles, and lamps. New residential rentals allow a sim to get creative with fully customizable multi-family dwellings. Give your sims a basement suite to rent out, create a cozy duplex for close families, or even build spacious apartments for large families. Community events like a potluck and pool parties provide the perfect opportunity for sims to engage with their neighbors and get a sense of community within their residential rental. It does not indicate the maximum number of allowed apartments, though. Property management. Sims can soon evolve into savvy property owners and live amongst tenants or maintain separate residences while generating income from multiple property investments. While being at home can be relaxing, property owners may face a tenant revolt if you allow your ratings to slip too low. Amongst other potential surprises, including insect infestations and challenges including mold, to further immer immerse players in the world of four rent, Sims can gain four new aspirations, five traits, and a new fear that help create unexpected and exciting stories. Tenants can experience evictions as a... And as a result, fears now include a tenant being afraid of being evicted due to misbehavior. But don't worry, you can always give someone a second chance. On the flip side, property managers have their own layer of responsibility. It's not all fun and games. Property owners can visit and do inspections, shoring up any broken objects, including the new water heater and electrical fuse box utility objects. No tenant is going to want cold water or flickering lights. Sims can also have aspirations to become the noisiest of the nosiest of Seeker of Secrets, a five-star property owner, the local font of Tom Tomarani knowledge, or a discerning dweller, the best neighbor and tenant ever. To make these communities even more interesting, Sims have five new traits. Sims can be nosy, 
generous, cringe, <laughs> child of the village, and the elder-specific wise as wisdom comes with age. Nice. They're including elders. That's nice to see. <gasps> That's cool. Do we get to have these and use these? If you purchase the four rent expansion pack anytime from November 2nd to January 18th, you'll have access to our Street Eats digital content, which allows you to bring the night market flavor home with a grill cart, street umbrella, and fruit basket. Cool. I can't wait. Pre-order The Sims 4 expansion pack now. Nice. I cannot tell you how excited I am. I don't think it always shows across in the videos how excited I am for some of these expansion packs. I just get so overwhelmed and then I shut down and don't outwardly react very much. But let me tell you, I am so, so excited for this. You have no idea. The possibilities... All the things we don't know yet. This is going to be so amazing. Tomorrow, Friday, November 3rd, I'm going to be live streaming The Sims 4 on Twitch. Probably working on the apartment building. I started on Monday. And we're going to go over everything in like really specific detail and pick out all the new objects we can see and speculate on everything. So come to my Twitch tomorrow, Friday, for that live stream. Yeah, I am so excited for this. I think I'm going to go get started on building some duplexes and apartments and row houses for places like... Glimmerbrook right now. Let me know down in the comments how you're feeling after seeing the official trailer and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 255? That is amazing. Thank you everyone. I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.